Cross model for clothes for RGB face anti spoofing. This work was done by Anjit George and Sebastian Marcel from EDAP Research Institute, Martini, Switzerland. The issue we are addressing is the vulnerability of face recognition systems against presentation attacks. Presentation attack detection or anti spoofing is essentially countermeasures against presentation attacks. Here you can see some of the presentation attacks using 3D masks and various other types of attacks. Typically, PAD methods are based on RGB images, but many of the recent literature has suggested that multi-channel methods for detection are robust for PAD. So we consider RGBD phase PAD in this work. The problem we are addressing is how to train multi-channel models effectively, leveraging the discriminative information from individual channels. Though this is applied to phase PAD problem, the setting is general enough for any multi-stream classification tasks. The challenge with multi-channel networks is that, even though they perform better, they have a tendency to overfit to seen attacks failing to generalize to unseen attacks in the absence of architectural or loss-wise regularization. So what we did was to attack this problem from two sides. From the architectural side, we propose a new multi-head architecture and from the training side, we propose a new loss function to learn robust representation for individual channels. Our preliminary experiments are done using RGBD which can be extended to other combinations as well. Now, this is the multi-stream, multi-head architecture we proposed. The architecture of the individual branches are based on dense net. For the RGBD case, it's a two-stream network with multi-head architecture. Individual channel heads are supervised by new cross-model focal loads and the joint branch is supervised by binary cross-entropy. Basically, instead of one final node, we have three. This forces the network to use the maximum discriminative information from each channel. In the inference stage, the final score is obtained from the joint branch. Now, coming to the details of the loss function. The motivation of the loss function is that some attacks are easier to detect in a specific channel while it appears like a bona fide in the other channel. For example, 2D attacks are easy to detect in depth channel as they are flat but harder to detect using RGB channel alone. Another example is that attacks using facial tattoos. They can be easily identified in RGB channel but much harder to detect using depth channel alone. Now consider the loss contribution of the tattoo attack in the depth branch. Forcing the network to differentiate between bona fide and tattoos in the depth branch can result in overfitting to unreliable nuisance factors which might lead to confident misclassifications. So we need a way to reduce the loss contribution of these samples in a branch, conditional on the ability of the other channels to classify it correctly. Ideally, what we want is that when a branch is unsure, it should give scores closer to 0.5 opposed to creating very confident mistakes. In the proposed cross-model focal loss, the main idea is to factor in the confidence of other channels while supervising a specific channel. The loss function of a specific channel is modulated with the confidence of other channels which prevents forcing individual channels to overfit. The details of the loss function can be seen in the next slide. Now consider the two-channel scenario where EP and EQ are the embeddings from channel P and Q and ER the joint embedding and P, Q and R are the probabilities from the final fully connected nodes. We denote PT as the probability of the target class for notational convenience. That is P for bona fide and 1 minus P for PA. Here we can see the expression for CMFL proposed and alpha is for the class balancing. We can see that without the modulating factor, this is equivalent to cross entropy loss. Now we introduce this modulating factor which depends on the probabilities of both branches weighed by a probability of the other branch. In essence, we want the loss contribution of one of the branch to be less when the other branch is very confident. For the evaluations, we have used both WMCA and HQWMCA datasets. And for the protocols, to emulate unseen attacks, we have created several leave one out attack protocols. One attack type is left out in train and development set and the evaluation set contains bona fide and the attack type which was left out. And for comparison, we use the average classification error rate in the evaluation set for the threshold computed for BPCR one percentage in the development set. This table shows the ACER in the leave one attack type out protocols of both the datasets. In both the datasets, it can be seen that the proposed architecture itself improves the performance slightly. With the addition of CMFL loss, the proposed method achieves much better performance compared to other baselines. For now, the experiments were done using the GBD channels but it can be extended to other combinations of channels as well. Though trained with RGBD, this framework can be deployed with just RGB at test time. This is equivalent to the section of the network in the green box. Interestingly, this improves the results compared to a separate network trained and tested on the RGB data alone. This shows the usefulness of our approach for supervising individual channels based on the proposed loss function. This again makes it possible to use additional channels in training and to deploy with a subset of channels. To sum up, the new framework, the architecture and the proposed loss improves the performance of multi-channel classifiers. The proposed approach makes it possible to handle missing channels at test time. This approach can be extended to other classification tasks involving multiple channels or features. The source codes of our approach will be made publicly available in the following link. This work was funded by the IRPA Battle Project and we would like to acknowledge their support. Thank you for your time.